Hello, Graphanatics! Ready for a journey through data landscapes? I mean, literal data about landscapes? Because we will review the GeoMap panel in Grafana, the ultimate tool for mapping insights. We will explore how to visualize location-based data and data-driven discoveries. Often it is vital to pinpoint elements on a map, like visualizing data center locations, monitoring where are your sales, or to track disease outbreaks. Enter Grafana's GeoMap panel, a powerful tool for such tasks. But mapping data requires specific prerequisites. Let's explore what is needed to get up and running our GeoMap panel. To display maps, data requires location identification. Today for ease, we are going to use some CSV data. The most common approach is having columns for latitude and longitude in their standard formats. Alternatively, we can use a geohash column for automatic identification. Last, we can locate countries, US states, airports, and many more using a column with their names or codes. Examples for this type of data are provided in the video description. Now, armed with this knowledge, let's create our first geomap. We will use Grafana Play to create our first geomap panel, but the steps will work in a local Grafana setup. To access Grafana Play, link in the corner. The home screen is a dashboard where you can click the Add button on top and select Visualization to add a panel. In the Panel Editor, set the panel as GeoMap at the top right corner. For ease, we will use the Test Data Data Source to use our CSV. For more information about the Test Data Data Source, link in the corner. Paste the CSV for latitude and longitude, and right away you will see circles in the map. If the column titles are lat or latitude, and longitude, LNG, or lon, locations will be automatically identified. Similarly, it will automatically work with the GeoHash column CSV. For other data sources, ensure that your queries return data in these formats. Otherwise, we will have to specify which column to use a little bit later. And with that, you have your first GeoMap. For further customization and exploration, let's dive deeper into GeoMap customizations. The first customization that we will check is the base map layer. It is the main map that the panel displays. The default option will be already selected and it is the Carto map, but without any options. But if we actually select the Carto, you will you get lots of options such as the dark mode, toggling place labels, altering, opacity, and toggling tooltips. You can also select other map providers like OpenStreet, XYZ Tile, and ArcGIS which will give you lots of soft maps to choose from. The map layer section is the most important as this panel shows data in tiers and inside of each you can customize data displays and much more. Now, layer one is there by default, but you can add, rename, order and remove layers. Here, layer one's options show layer type, where you have markers selected by default and display the circles that we see already. Heatmap is the other layer type that will display your data. There are other layer types like route, photos, and network, but at the moment of making this video, they are in beta versions. More info with the link in the corner. Using markers or heatmap, we must select the query that provides geodata and select how it will be identified. As mentioned, we can identify those latitudes and longitudes or geohash columns automatically. Here, we can also set the size of the marker, the shape, alignment, colors, opacity, labels to display, either fixed or from a column, and much, much more. If we select the heat map, we can only change the hotness indicators. We can select a couple more, like the GeoJSON, which allows you to pull maps from a file in Grafana, like countries, airports, or states. You can also select day and night indicator given the current time. The rest are the map types that we saw earlier. You can add multiple layers and have more geodata displayed. You can even add a map on top of each other. Now, in the map view section, you can toggle tools like locations, coordinates, zooms, continents, or just to automatically fit the data. Next on the map control section, you can toggle some controls, scroll wheel zooms, attributions, scales, measuring tools, 
tooltips and even a debug view. Now, clicking on apply shows you a geomap panel in your dashboard where you can add many other panels that we have out there. If you want to learn more about them, check the videos in the screen. But now you can go out and play with your new geomap panel. Happy dashboarding and have a good one.